behind the scenes insights and breaking news from the student athletes who play for the Cardinal and Gold. Jones to get the call on the right side and he's in the end zone for a touchdown USC. Trojans Live is brought to you by Cooper Tires. Count on Cooper, an American company since 1914. Now here are Jordan Moore and John Jackson. Hello and welcome to Trojans Live on ESPN LA 710 and Facebook Live. It is rivalry week. We are Ring getting that you. Bell. Yeah, you like that sound? <laughs> that means the bell is home where it should be, right here in Troy. And the Trojans are trying to keep it that way as they take on UCLA this Saturday. We'll get you ready with the head coach Clay Helton after he comes off the practice field. The star running back Ronald Jones the second is here with us. We got the Trojan Knights. We'll bring on just a second. Those are the keepers of the victory bell. Plus, I just saw Benny Buckets walk into the building fresh off his career high last night. Benny Boatwright of USC Men's Basketball will be joining us. It is a loaded show, of course. Throw all your comments and questions if you're watching on Facebook Live. We'll see if we can get to some. I am Jordan Moore alongside John Jackson. JJ, uh, victory bell in-house uh, means it's Crosstown Showdown Week, and I know that's an important week for you. Yeah, obviously a huge win over Colorado was able to cinch the Pac-12 South for the Trojans. I do have a little precaution, though. I was in this situation as a player myself. Yeah. We ended up tying UCLA on the last game of the year because we did not, not take happen. them serious. That won't happen, guaranteed. There are no but, more ties. But the Trojans need to make sure they take them serious. That's for sure. And the, you know, UCLA is playing a little bit better. Josh Rosen is back and healthy. So certainly a lot to talk about. Trojan fans get one free admission to the Ralph's Ultimate Tailgate Experience and select USC football home games this fall when you purchase 30 $35 of participating items at Ralph's. Look for the signs and tags in the store. Every $35 you spend gets you one admission. All right. The Trojan Knights, as I said, are here. We've got Dylan McKinley and Alex Tarandek. I forgot to ask you how you pronounce your uh, last no name. No worries. It's uh, Tarandek. Tarandek. Yeah. Close enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys getting any sleep? This is your week. Uh, w what does this week look like for you guys? And, and sort of give people some perspective on uh, you know what, what you do and, and how that works with the bell. Yeah, so this week is uh, obviously rivalry week. It's a very big uh, deal for the Trojan Knights because we are a spirit organization. So we spend a lot of time out at Tommy. Uh, we are there 24-7 starting immediately after the Colorado game last week and going all the way through the And UCLA Tommy's game. all wrapped up in duct tape. Yes, he is. Yep. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We we can only do so much to protect it. The tape goes. That takes yeah, an extra step. from aerial attack, yes, right? Yes. I mean that's really what you have yeah. to tape them up for. Did I see the McKay statue also taped McKay's up? McKay's mm -hmm. ta uh, taped up. Just protect the sword. That? Uh, you know, not McKay specifically, but all all the statues around campus they're uh, gotcha. all taped up. And then uh, over at the village, they also have Hecuba, the Hellenes, and other service organizations out there watching them as well. And so you guys are sleeping out there. What's the uh, what's the what are the living arrangements like? Yeah. Yeah, we got some uh, we got some cots set up this year, so it's actually a little bit nicer than usual. But uh, we all just huddle up into sleeping bags, um, get all our Trojan blankets <laughs> on or whatever, and uh, yeah, and just and hope hang for out warm weather. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and Alex, we know the Trojan Knights are obviously active this week, but mm -hmm. there's more to the Trojan Knights than just this USC UCLA week. You know, give us a big, a broader perspective of what you guys do because I've known I've seen you, uh, yeah. you know, Monday morning quarterback every every third Monday of the mm -hmm. month. Yeah, so. Uh, not only is it just a spirit organization, it's also a really big service organization. So we have a lot of outreach with the uh, elementary schools around campus where we uh, try to help out with uh, weekly tutoring, helping out uh, little kids and, and helping them progress with their school. And then we also host events on uh, for Skid Row uh, children, uh, helping them, having a good time as well, enjoying themselves. And then uh, we also go to, with the elementary schools around USC. We also go to Halloween, do some pumpkin carving and stuff like that. So uh, it's a lot of service, a lot of, a lot of fun with games, but we also do a lot of uh, helping out the community as well. All right, JJ, trivia question. How much oh, do you think man. the bell weighs? <laughs> oh, boy, I got to go 150 pounds? Double that. 295 Three? pounds. Oh, wow. You're going to go de <laughs> you going to go deadlifted for us? No, no, no. I'll leave it right there. I can I can push it as long as the wheels stay on. So give us a little history lesson. We see you know, all the rivalries around the country. They play for these silly little prizes. This is this is a real prize right here in yep. the Victory Bell. Give us a little history lesson on on how this all started. Yeah, so uh, originally the bell was first given to UCLA in 1939. It was uh, given to them by their Alumni Association. And so they had the bell until about 1941. And uh, at that time they used to play in the Coliseum. So six U.S. Uh, Trojan Knights back in 1941 decided we're going to go take that bell. So we uh, hit it, uh, kind of kept it away from USA, UCLA for an entire year, led to some pranks, uh, like prank wars on both USC and UCLA. And they kind of said, uh, we're not going to host another game unless you guys settle something. So... Uh, they signed this agreement called the Victory Bell Accords, where whoever wins the game gets the, gets to keep the trophy. So 
Uh, the very first year, 1942, uh, that was the first time uh, we played for the belt. We actually lost the game, but saying that we've won 46 times since then, I think we've done pretty well, especially since they originally had it, and now we they agreed to uh, give it to us every time that we beat them in football as well. So You know, yeah. and, and, and Dylan, give us a little uh, other history on the bell. I mean, obviously the bell is on USC's campus. Yes. Where is it housed? Um, I see it's I painted. That's a <laughs> secret, isn't it? A yeah, secret? I don't know if I can reveal that. Yeah. You can't? Okay. Yeah, double okay. secret probation. Right. But, it is, but it is painted red, right? That's the one thing. And so that's the one transition every year. You have to hand it over uh, and it gets painted you painted cardinal. Cardinal. Mm -hmm. My fault. God. Yeah. <laughs> We're just I'm here a to educate I'm a JJ. <laughs> I'm a rookie. Yeah, no. so the, the bell has been painted 46 times the cardinal and 31 yeah. times uh, the other color. Uh, right. So yeah. We don't usually say that. So, I mean, every time that it was uh, it's been the other color and then we get it back, it takes the uh, – big long process it takes about two or three days just to sand it all off the blue and then just repaint it our our dual cardinal and then we just uh we hide it we just keep it out out of sight until uh spe special events like this tonight and then uh, the what happens if too. somebody comes out for it? which one of you guys is scrapping for it uh you know what i think there, we got a lot of big guys this guy's a good guy here so got a lot <laughs> is that of what you look for you're like listen we want community service oriented we want loyalty but we need somebody who can scrap yeah definitely I think with them coming around we, we don't want them touching tommy trojan so that's why we set up shop there and we got all the big guys out there helping out so, yeah. And with your group, how many members are within the group, and how does that transition work year by year in terms of – because, you know, ultimately you guys graduate. Yeah, so we have about 93 uh, active members on campus right now, and so we graduate every year. Uh, new people come on, but we uh, we uh, recruit with getting new freshmen, sophomore, juniors on campus that we think can make a difference within the university. So uh, we bring them through the entire process, and uh, they become knights down the road. The other thing you guys do is you always have that front row of the student section. You're out there bearing it all, body paint. <laughs> who, who makes the call? How do you decide what's getting painted uh, week in and week out? You're talking yeah, to them right that's, here. That's, 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 that's your job. job. That's, that's what they brought job. you in for creativity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, every week I uh, I have the uh, opportunity, I guess, to think of what we're going to paint for that week. Um, and so this year we've made a big effort to paint for as many players as we can. We painted for Rojo. We painted for each other. Yeah, Rojo's here tonight. Uh, you, guys yeah, went, yeah. you guys went Texas Tesla for Rojo, yes, did, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's got a lot of nicknames, so I, I think people like that one. Yeah. What, what do we got this week? Do we give a little uh, teaser yeah. out? Yeah, yeah. We are going to be painting for Sam Darnold. Uh, All right. have not covered that yet, but we're probably going to be painting Hey Darnold. Uh, throw back to the 90s cartoon. Yeah. No question. Ah, oh, nice, nice. What, give us some other good ones that have happened throughout this year. Uh, so there was the maybe about – oh, this year? Specific yeah, or, no, no. Oh, best best, no. Ones. So best like, ones. Give us the best. Give us the greatest uh, hits. You know, there was uh, a few years ago we were playing Cal on a Thursday night game and kind of people were kind of mad that we were playing Thursday night. So <laughs> we just spelled out Thursday with a whole question mark, kind of throwing shade at the Pat 12 and everything like that. For yeah. scheduling on Thursday, plenty, so. of, plenty of shade like thrown that. over the years. <laughs> How long does it take to paint your whole body like that? We get started about an hour and a half before the guys head to the Coliseum. It takes a pretty long amount of time to get all that yellow on there and actually get the red <laughs> into the crevices. But <laughs> And how long does it take to get off? Even longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey, give it one more ring. Let's right. ring in That's this right. week. It's officially UCLA week or beat UCLA week, I should say. There we go. Trojans and Bruins Saturday night at the Coliseum, 5 o'clock on ESPN. And right here on ESPN LA 710, we'll be back with more Trojans Live next.